In this video, I'm going to explain about sampling techniques in machine learning. By the way, in the previous project video, I explained about brain stroke prediction with some different classification techniques. If you notice the classification report of mine, you can understand one major flaw in my machine learning model. So look at the values here. We have two values, 0 and 1. 0 means the person is not affected by the brain stroke and 1 means the person is affected by brain stroke. Totally, we have 1495 amount of data. So the report says that the machine learning model that I created is more biased towards zero value because the model predicted zero values more number of times compared to the one value. Our model is skewed too much towards the one side. Uh, we have to solve this type of issue. So it is a common issue in machine learning. So it should happen. If we leave our model like this, it won't perform in a new data. How we can solve this type of issues in machine learning? There is one concept in machine learning called sampling. Sampling is nothing but a technique that will help you to solve the skewness in your data. Basically, it will transform your imbalanced data into a balanced one. For transformation, sampling gives us two methods. The first one is undersampling and second one is oversampling. Undersampling concept is nothing but a simple approach. I will explain to you with some numbers so you can easily understand the concept in a better way. Take an example, we have 0 and 1 classification type of data over 10k samples but our model predicted 9000 times 0 and 1000 times 1. First you have to understand that it is not a problem with the machine learning model, it is your training data. We should distribute the samples equally towards the both sides then only we will get good unbiased machine learning model. The undersampling concept helps us with randomly distribution of data based on some parameters. Consider this is your data, we should have to distribute this data equally towards both sides. So if you fit your model in undersampling, it track the majority class data and it randomly delete some data. In our case, if I use undersampling on the data set, we will get final outcome like this. This is our final results if you use undersampling in your training data. The process is it will delete some data for balancing the data with the minority classes. So this is the concept of undersampling and let's move to the next one. Second concept is oversampling. I will explain the oversampling in the same way so you guys can understand it better way. Take the previous example, we have around 10k samples that is distributed like this. Oversampling track the minority data and it will duplicate the minority data again and again uh, randomly to equal the size of majority class. If we apply the oversampling concept in this data, you, you will get output like this. So this is how the data is equally distributed in both sides. So now coming to my code, after I get those results, I implemented the sampling techniques in my data. Here I used one library called iblearn. From this library, I am importing random undersampler function. The purpose of this function is it will undersample your data. I already wrote a code here for undersampling. And the important thing is I set the sampling strategy parameter as majority. It means it will delete some random data from the majority class. See here I got the balanced data set after implementing the undersampling. Now this data is ready to train. Let's train this data in the random forest classifier. So see the classification report, the data is pretty balanced and in the previous one we got the imbalanced results. Now compared to the previous classification report, this classification report is perfectly balanced. This is the process of removing the imbalance issues in the data. So thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next another video.